You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for me to do the Hershey's Kisses Maker. It says, make your very own Hershey Kisses chocolates. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to point out the two kids on the front. Because people say, you know, why do you always point out the kids on the front? And then people say, when I don't point out the kids on the front, why didn't you point the kids out on the front? So I'm not pointing them out. Let's get on to the rest of the uh, the kid here. So we're going to actually make Hershey, Hershey Kisses. And it looks like they have other moles and this tool here that melts the chocolate. I like the box here with this splash of chocolate melting down. And here's everything that we're supposed to get in here. Now this was used, so I have uh, haven't really gone through it, to be honest with you. But I'll find out when I open it. It uh, requires Hershey's milk chocolate chips, which we have. It says, use your favorite flavor Hershey's chips to make your favorite kisses. Here's some Hershey facts. You guys want to read the facts? What does it say? It says, in 1900, the Hershey's milk chocolate bar was introduced. The three main ingredients used in Hershey's, Hershey's milk chocolate are cocoa beans, milk, and sugar. All right, so you read the rest there. I'm going to move on while you read that. Uh, pause and enlarge the video if you want to at that point. So let's see what we have here. Safe to use, easy to clean, some assembly required. This is a Spin Master product. And here's the steps. They always give you the steps. Fill, pour, wrap. All right. Simple enough. And the step that, of course, I like to do, eat. So here is the instructions. Here is one piece. Don't even know what it does yet. A bunch of other pieces. There's the mold we saw her filling. And the scooper spoon we saw. And this piece, and uh, okay, of course, I look at it all sitting on the table, and I think, what have I just gotten myself into? Ooh, this looks like it goes in here. Yes. There's a, three connector pins here and three in there, so that's probably what turns it on or charges it. No batteries in there yet. And a nice, healthy set of instructions. Wow, so washing your maker, so I'm going to do that, wrapping your chocolate, reassembly, reassembly of the maker, and look at all the batteries I'm going to need. Eight batteries. So here's everything. First glance looks like we have it all. So let me get it washed. Let me get my batteries and see what that entails, and then we'll take a closer look at everything. Looks a little crazy, I know, because there's more pieces here than there was earlier, but to take it all apart, I had to kind of understand it and then go through the directions and wash it and clean it, and now I know exactly how it goes back together. So this is the first piece. This is going to slide into this tube, and you're going to put this into the unit here. Now you're supposed to press this all, way, all the way down because you'll see the aluminum piece in there needs to be pushed down. So I'll just grab, they say a wood spoon, I just used a chopstick, and then this piece just slides right onto that. Then this piece uh, gets turned just slightly. It needs to be in that position to match up so you can get the holes. And once you're there, then this main melting unit, this is where you're going to actually melt the chocolate, is done. Now this is the tool to actually push the chocolate out. Now you press this button, slide this up, and it'll come apart later. And then in the base here, I know earlier I tried it, but this goes in first. Then this goes on top of it. And then this gets turned on. And now we have some action with the red light. Now remember, I had already put in eight batteries in here, so it took some time to do that. And then this back piece clips on here because this is now ready to make Hershey's Kisses. And it opens up. And it's what you're using to put the kiss on there with the foil. We're going to close it up, lock it, spin it, and it twists the foil on there. And I'm going to make Hershey Kisses. Yes, I'm going to give it a shot. And then the mold, which is a flexible mold, so they don't say to put any kind of um, spray in there with the chocolate. And then we have the spoon. Now, this is a universal tool, and it does a lot of things. It's used later on when you push the kiss down on the maker there. 
It's also got some measurements. So I didn't show you this earlier, but the foil comes with it with the Hershey's Kisses. Now, if you don't have that or you want to write your own messages, you use the spoon. The spoon is the right length and size to trace a thin piece of paper to make your Hershey Kiss little uh, message inside. And then on the spoon, there's this, uh, there's these little tiny arrows so you can make the perfect size squares by measuring it and tracing it on aluminum foil. So I think I'm almost ready to go. I gotta let this sit for six to eight minutes for this to heat up before I can really get into making chocolate kisses. So let me do that. Gonna have to bring some chips out here and some other supplies and get ready and show you how it's done. And I don't even know, it's the first time I've ever done it. I am back, I have my chips ready to go. I have milk chocolate, white chocolate, and semi-sweet. And I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna do or if I'm gonna do them all. I definitely wanna do at least the milk chocolate I know there's a lot of white chocolate fans out there, so I'll probably do that one. This one here on the end, it's just for me to eat. So the process now, after reading the directions, because I have no idea what I'm doing. The unit's on, and it's been on for about 8 minutes. Remove dispensing handle from the melting chamber. Uh, melting chamber from the power unit. Okay. Step. And it says... Turn dispensing handle quarter turn clockwise and remove it from the melting chamber. Did that. Add two measuring spoons of chocolate chips to the melting chamber using a paper funnel made from a piece of folded paper. I happen to have a nice little funnel here from another project, so let me do this here. So two scoops. One. And two. Okay, so that's ready to go. Now we're going to put this back on and lock it in place. So now that it's heated up and ready to go, let me get my stuff out of here. So it allows the unit to heat for another three and a half minutes. So I'm going to have to wait for that and check back in. So we have to let the chocolate melt in there. And then we're going to remove it and fill the mold. So we'll check right back. If you could smell the warm milk chocolate, you would uh, probably be as excited as I am to get going on to the next process, and that's to fill the molds. And it says three quarters full. So now, remember, uh, when I was pressing this button here and moving this up, that's because this has a ratcheting system in it. So now I'm going to press this blue handle, and it's going to ratchet out the chocolate into my molds. And it says three quarters full. So I'm going to have to repeat this process a few times. So let's see exactly how it works. Uh, all new to me too, so. So what's happening now is as I'm pushing this in, this is going down and it's moving that blue inner chamber down. There it goes. So they want you to keep tapping. A little bit more on that one. That might be a little more than three quarters full, but you know, first one didn't know it was going to come out that fast. That's better. It's going to get out all of our air bubbles. That doesn't say if I'm going to have to refill or not refill, because there's this K I S S here. I'd like to fill that with chocolate also. So what I'll do is get these all full. Okay, so it feels like it's all the way down now. And I'm going to press this and return this back up again, put it on here, and then I can refill with chocolate. And you can kind of see that's the piston that's pushing down. So I'll set that there, and I'll get more milk chocolate. I can't really mix the chocolates right now, so I'll have to clean up to do another chocolate. Just looks like it's going to be enough to do it. Remember, I'm just putting it into top here with my little funnel okay and then I'm going to return this to the unit lock it down and when you lock it down the light turns back on so now let me tap this here Ooh, I left some chips in there and I just ate them did I overfill yep now after this is done then I want to sit in the refrigerator for 15 minutes I 
think we're good. So what I'm going to do now is let this heat up again, and I'm going to try to fill these uh, four little letters here for KISS so I can add that to my finished product. So we'll check back in in another, say, three minutes. All right, I'm ready to go to fill my letters KISS. Uh, let me just do one or two, and then I'll have to come back and refill. So let me get my system ready here. We'll do the K first. Remember, I'm just going to push, and it's going to slowly work its way out. Now, a couple times it shot out too fast, so I don't know how many letters I can get off of one or two scoops of the chocolate. So I'll do these for you now, and then I'll have to do the rest uh, off camera so you don't have to keep checking back in, right? Let's see. I think we're going to do it. I think we're good. By the time I tap them all down, and tap my camera too, yeah, it looks good. See what we have now? That worked out perfect. All right, so it is, as the instructions say, uh, refrigerate mold up to 15 minutes until the chocolate hardens, flex the mold, remove the kisses, uh, kisses chocolates. Chocolates are easier to dispense when the mold is turned upside down. And then we get on to the final step of actually wrapping these in the foil and putting our little kiss tags in there, all right? So we'll check back in one more time. All right, the uh, white chocolate ones came out great. Um, I'm ready to go. I was just gonna wrap one of them for you because I think I'm enjoying this one because it's a neat little process So I remember I hung that out just a little bit you put this on here you push it down with your tool I'm gonna make sure that stays up just enough. There you go. I want it nice and out there and you close And spin it a few times And you pop it open that one got stuck on there. That's okay. We're going to leave it like that and call it a wrap. Let me uh, show you what I made. See? I made my little kiss. This is the best one that came out. This is the two that I stuck it out a little bit. And then I spelled kiss in chocolate, white chocolate, chocolate, white chocolate. So there you go. Let me eat one of my white chocolate ones here. This is what they look like. They're really soft now. Put a cup on here for you to look at close up. How's that? Okay, let me do this. I'll put them right here so I can just show you the whole thing. Let the camera focus in on that. So that is the Hershey's Kisses Maker. And I'm going to say that's pretty successful. I had fun with it. You know, I probably get better at wrapping as I practice it more. But overall, Pretty cool kit. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.